is not a single day that I don't think about or I'm reminded of the experiences of uh, Katrina and uh, my, my action there for the few days for which I was a first responder. The principal message I take from that is that you simply cannot prejudge people. Uh, there are so many different temptations and excuses that we have now to prejudge people, be, be their gender, gender pre sexual preference, race, creed, or color. But the fact of the matter is you cannot prejudge them. You take them as individuals. Because I was taught time and time again by children, by old men, by young women, that you have to give the individual a chance because not only is it best for them, it's best for me. I mean, the role UT Health played was critical because when we were told that we had several hundred thousand people coming to Houston, I mean, as individual health care providers, we don't have the uh, wherewithal to be able to organize be, any effort that would uh, be supportive of, of these uh, displaced Americans. Uh, however, UT Health made a tremendous difference by providing the infrastructure by which we could interact. In some sense, it, they, they couldn't control the players. They couldn't control the patients. They couldn't control the evacuees. They couldn't control how we reacted as first responders but they put the set available for us. They put the set together and they gave us the, the best tools that they could for us to operate on it. And it was for us and the evacuees, the evacuees to interact. I think the city learned some important lessons. I think the city learned that it could, it could accept people, strangers coming in and could be open to them and could be generous to them and with no prejudice and no harm done. I'll give you a very simple example. Uh, the first interaction we had with, uh, my wife and I had with the Katrina evacuees is when we went to drop off some uh, uh, supplies at a uh, Toys R Us parking lot. Now these people had come in, they had been through tremendous circumstances, they hadn't eaten, they had no clothes, they had no shelter. And so we really expected to be, there to be a, a, a melee. We expected chaos. And in fact, what we found were evacuees who were taking our supplies, not for themselves, but taking them to organize. So we have a little girl who has no shoes, organizing shoes and socks, making sure that the socks are in pairs and the shoes are lined up so you, you always got a left shoe and a right shoe. The effect that has is that since these people who have every right to be selfish choose not to be, then our selfishness evaporates like snow in the hot sun. And so people are, e are able to give more easily, more naturally, completely because in, they are in an environment where the ruling uh, the, the, the ruling motivation is simply care for another. It was, it was perhaps the most unique experience from that regard that I've ever had.